Hello everyone, this is Guido, I'm the CEO here at Nimble and today we're going to see in this video how to bulk upload your listings into your uh, Shopify store. So why would you need bulk upload? Well, the reason is simple, you want to upload into Shopify hundreds or thousands of products and doing it one by one is just like nuts, it will take forever and you can use Nimble as an automated tool to obtain that. So where do you get uh, your products in the first place? There's uh, three main ways. One, you just create them one by one, but that can be done in Shopify. The second one is that you already have your e-commerce presence on some channel, say eBay, Amazon, or Etsy. And in this case, you can collect through Nimble, gather all your listings already on those channels, have them in Nimble, edit them if needed, and then bulk upload them into Shopify already in the correct Shopify collection. And the third option is that you have your listings or part of your product content into some legacy system, an ERP, some management software, maybe your warehouse management software or your point of sale software. In this case, most of these legacy systems have an export as CSV function and you can download those products in a CSV format, shuffle it and upload everything in Nemble where you can improve your content, add pictures, codes, maybe add a better description and then upload in bulk into your Shopify store. There's plenty of videos on how to prepare and export and import your CSV file. Therefore, in this video, we're going to focus on how to collect your products from your different channels, have them in Nimble and then upload them into your Shopify store. Come with me, we're gonna see this in Nimble. As an example, we're going to get listings from Etsy and transfer them on Shopify. Of course, this applies to any other channels you can get listings from. All right, we are here in my Nimble account and this is how Nimble will look like for new users. First of all, we need to connect our Etsy import listings. Second, we're gonna connect Shopify and list the imported listings from Etsy to Shopify. Let's start. I click login. You may well read everything and grant access. We're going back to Nimble and Nimble will automatically open the Etsy settings overlay. The one setting we are most interested in, I open and I can select what status I want to get and I can select the status of the products I want to import. So you can choose between publishing active, draft, expired and inactive. We'll stick to publishing active and all. Import updates, it's something we activate, but this is an advanced setting which you can see in other videos. Bear in mind that there's always a CE video tutorial bottom left, save changes. Now I just click get product. You can see that import from Etsy started. It will take a few minutes and you can simply go back in the products tab and right away we already have 23 item coming in. And if you have more products, you just hit refresh and you'll see more of them. In this case, we probably only have 23 in the active listings on my Etsy account. So 23 are not all I'm interested in. So I go back in channels, I go back in Etsy settings and I change the status in the filters. So now I'm getting drafts, save and click get products again. I let the get product function to run. I visit once again the channels where we said I have to connect my Shopify account because the goal of this is take listings from your Etsy account and list them in bulk into your Shopify account. Later on, when listings are listed on the two channels, you can keep them connected and have inventory sync and content sync so that everything is kept aligned when you get a sale and so on. So now I connect my Shopify account. Here you have to type the name of your Shopify store, not the URL, Nimble. Click get started. So among these settings, the one setting I am most interested in is list to Shopify and you can see the warning. During the free trial, you can list up to 10 listings per channel. That's the only function which is limited during your free trial. And the purpose is for you to make sure that listings look how you like, end up in the correct category or collection and all is fine before listing hundreds or thousands of them. So we're gonna stick to 10 in this video. 
we keep price rule off and uh, we also gonna stick to no collection because we advise you to use automated collections in Shopify if you can otherwise you may well choose one of the collections you may have set up in your store which will appear as you see here in your Shopify collection field within Nimble. Save changes and now we're ready to list on Shopify. I go back in products you can see now there's 377 items. They keep coming in. We can select them all and click the actions button, click the publish function, unselect all, and we're gonna list them on Shopify and publish. Now the listing process started. We can list up to 10. If I filter for Shopify, we'll see only the products actually listed and you can see actually 10 perfectly listed. To see how the listing looked like, click on the product and click on the green eye icon. There it is. You may see a resemblance between this sweater and the sweater in the picture in Nemble. That's the listing. And you can see this for each product and there it is, product listed on your Shopify store. That's it. In this video, we've seen how you can extract your listings from some channel, some marketplace and use these listings to create your own e-commerce store on the Shopify platform. Don't forget to like the video and uh, to follow this channel so that you will be notified when we publish some new video. Bye bye.